a nice family out there, and I said, big family. And I said, boy, I hope you all had a good time, because I did not. <laughs> so somebody had to have a good time today. So you have those games, and we're fortunate to get a win based on our performance, but we just grow from it and learn from it and uh, see where we can go uh, going forward. So uh, just do the best we can. Uh, and uh, credit Rutgers for playing hard and, and um, guarding us really well. And uh, we just got, we have another uh, uh, another game uh, Sunday. We, we've got to continue to grow as a team. Go ahead, Mark. You always said feel the pulse in your team. What was the point when you realized it wasn't going well? I mean, it was a couple shots or even before the game? No, there, there was a, uh, uh, there, in the locker room ahead of time, I realized I was missing my, my scout report this late disappeared. That's when I knew I always religiously go over it one more time. I couldn't find it. I, that was a bad omen to start because after 1,100 games, I had the same ritual. And I was looking it over, and I couldn't find it. That was the first one. But no, we had the ball dropping around, and we had shots going in, in and out, and uh, and then we had a couple of really just like crazy plays. But uh, like I said, this is uh, with the shot clock, and uh, just a three-point shot. Thank goodness they did shoot. We could have been beaten easily today, uh, the way we played both offensively. Our defense was okay, but if they would have made some of those shots, uh, some of those threes, we could have been they could have went down. Over here with Chris. Is it human nature to, when shots aren't falling, that it almost becomes contagious in that sense? Yeah, I, I think that we uh, we wear that on both sides, and and uh, you know we have you have to what you have to do when you get in those situations, you got to have uh, almost uh, you have to manufacture energy because when you're missing shots, it, it can take a lot out of you, right? And it, so it takes out of your defense. You just can't put your head down. And wallow in it. You got to continue to throw energy to the team and everything. So we got to work at some of those areas. When uh, we've had we had a good run there of it, at, uh, where we had some we experienced some adversity, and we still won. And this time, uh, hopefully, we're going to grow from this. Would you almost call it playing not to lose at some point? There, there, that could have been happening. Yeah, that could have been happening. No, and I mean when you're trying to you're playing an 0-7 team and you're playing at your place and you're coming off after this big win. You know, the trap game, the letdown game, all those things are part of it. Uh, but uh, we just, what we have to do is let it, when you when you play like that and you have a tough game like that, you just got to make sure that it provides um, some great uh, message for you for your upcoming game. Well, first of all, did you ever find your game plan? I have not found it. This is like a mystery, Where what happened to it. It's a four or five page document. I got all kinds of notes on it. I just review it. I don't know where it is, so uh, it disappeared. We'll have to check eBay or something. Yeah. yeah. Um, it, I guess when, when those missed shots are piling up, when does the onus turn on? You just got just go to the basket because well, when the jumpers and, aren't. And we were trying to do that. We were trying to get two feet in the lane. They, they were containing us so much. They got good quickness on the perimeter now, and they were trying to contain us and, and just keep everybody packed in and have people there. But I didn't like the way we attacked that either. We just would go, we were probing against our, in our drive instead of attacking in our drives. And that's what we'll learn from. You just, with 30 seconds on the shot clock, it's down to six, you gotta stop probing. You gotta go, draw a foul, do something. And several, a couple of our guys do that, did that. But there's other times we're like probing and all of a sudden we got these shot clock violations. Of course we did because we were, we were dribbling east-west. Over here with Simon.